All right, guys, we're here at Goodwill and we're about to go donate some of our stuff. You see those Ross bags in there? It's um, some of Kuvan and I's clothes and other things that um, we don't want or need anymore. And we're gonna go donate it to Goodwill. So Kuvan's over there. He's gonna go and put it in the bins. So yeah, we did the good deed today. We like shopping at Goodwill. We like donating at Goodwill. Yeah, now we're gonna go inside the shop and see what they have. So we ended up um, going home. There was nothing really much in that Goodwill at all. Um, so kind of just browse for a quick time and then headed home. But that's just um, how it is when you know go thrifting and stuff like that. It's like hit or miss. So yep, on to the next. So I currently went to Goodwill um, I didn't get to film in there, but I picked up all of these comics um, for Kuvin for his collection. So got a Suicide Squad, Deathstroke, Cyborg, Teen Titans, uh, an Iron Man one, and this Wonder Woman, and lastly Punisher. But yeah, I picked these all up. Um, they were all $3.69, I believe, so a little under $4. Um, but yeah, it's for his collection. And yeah, they're all DC, I believe, for the most part. But um, cool pickups. And I also got, um, while we're at it, I also picked up this bobblehead, um, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, I believe that's how you pronounce it. He's from Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, but yeah, this was nine fifty nine. Um, I picked it up since we do like collecting. I picked it up since we like collecting. Um sports bobbleheads and then this is a personal item it's this little camera bag and it kind of matches a backpack and a fanny pack that we have that's similar to this military army style type of um bag but yeah this was only 419 this Goodwill trip, we found this Santa Claus fisherman, which was pretty cool. We ended up keeping it for ourselves. It was under five bucks. And then all of these other things in our car, we found a pair of Allbirds, which was pretty cool. These shoes go up to like a hundred bucks or something like that. So it was pretty cool finding. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. And here's the haul from the stuff that Kuvin and I found at the Goodwill earlier. I'm sure you guys saw some of these items in our cart. Um, but um, I'm gonna do a better job at showing you guys what we did end up getting. Um, if you hear snoring, that's Kevin sleeping in the back, but don't mind that. Um, we did get a lot of items to keep, which are the ones in the back for ourselves, and then some items to resell. But um, check this out. Kevin found this snowman snowman come and found this santa a fisherman santa which is pretty cool it was 4.69 um i couldn't find any comps for it but i think we're gonna keep it same for this one it's an old 1995 uh figure hand painted snow i don't know why i keep seeing snowman hand painted snowman oh shoot hand painted santa claus but um we're gonna try to resell that one um, found a cart heart hat for let's see here for 419 um, so probably gonna clean this up and then keep that and then Kuvin found these magic the gathering games or cars I believe I don't know they're both six dollars or something like that uh, one I think this one he's gonna keep and then this one he's giving to his co-worker um, and then as you can see here Kuvin also found this Ninja Turtles car sadly though the sad thing about it is that we should have checked it before buying it because it's missing the pizzas um but yeah then i found this it was pretty cool it's a golf clock uh found it at goodwill for six dollars and nine cents and well see uh and it kind of hopefully this is it. hopefully this isn't making you guys dizzy but that's how it works pretty cool um, and this looks older. Let me see the date. Um, looks like, huh, what's the date here? Oh, right here, 1996. So it's from the 90s. Um, I showed this earlier in the cart. 
Um, but both of these are $4.19. It's Giant's Bobblehead, uh, JT Snow, as well as Dusty Baker. The cool thing is that these were, were, um, these aren't opened or anything. So they're perfectly sealed. Um, like no one opened it. So hopefully it's not damaged inside. I don't think so, but got these two. And then you saw this. Um, Kuvin also found this Rydell. Um, what team is this? Seattle Seahawks. Sadly, though, it's opened and not in the original packaging. But we ended up picking up for $3.69. Um, I ended up selling a Green Bay Packers one. So we figured um, we'd try selling this one as well. Then we found this new sealed in the box, in the plastic, hasn't been opened for $6.09. This San Francisco 49ers, um, and it's officially licensed, it's a puzzle. So, and then um, lastly are these two hats over here. <laughs> this one is a survivor hat, and it actually was autographed, so we don't know who it's by, but we picked, ended up picking it up for Four dollars and nineteen cents, as well as this SF Giants hat, for how much is it? For four dollars and nineteen cents as well. So this was the haul for today, and honestly, our place is a mess. <laughs> like always, these are we came back from Seattle, and we haven't um, put these away yet. Oh, and I forgot, Kuin found another fishing pole, as if we needed another one, but we picked it up at Goodwill for how much was this for seven dollars and nine cents what's up guys here's another KJ fine video me and Kuvin are here in Sacramento and we're gonna hit up some Goodwill stores on the way home so we're here at our first stop I don't know if you guys can see the Goodwill sign but um hopefully there's something over here out in Sacramento that we can find to resell online or to keep for our never-ending collection of miscellaneous things okay right, guys so here it is our first stop the first goodwill here in sacramento we're gonna check out this second goodwill we didn't find anything at the first one but look at their sign there's a peace sign and a heart pretty cool so at this second goodwill we ended up finding this board game that i've been trying to find for forever it's the game perfection let me know if you guys played it Kuvin also found this bag of Gundam characters, I believe that's what they're called. But yeah. What's <laughs> up, so, guys? So we just finished from that second Goodwill. But like always, I'll show you guys at the end of the video the haul that we pick up at the end of the day. All right, stay tuned. Forgot to mention that I finally found, I was, I've been looking, been on the lookout for um, the perfection game. If you guys know what that is, it's like put the, sh you have a time limit to put all the shapes into the, to the board game or whatever and if you don't then it'll pop up at you that was like my childhood game that gave like us anxiety as kids but it was so fun to play but yeah i'm glad that i found it hopefully all the pieces are like intact and are all still there but uh we'll figure that out once um we're done with the day and head home but yeah stay tuned for the next goodwill it'll be our third one um yeah at this Goodwill, we ended up finding a bunch of VHS tapes. We ended up getting a few of them to take home. Also found this Operation Perfection game, which was pretty cool. We just got out of our fourth Goodwill here. Got some goodies, got some v old VHS tapes, Flintstones, and also got a game. Like So like I said in the earlier clip, uh, we got out of our fourth Goodwill and we got some old VHS tapes and got this sports figurine and Oakland A's thing that Kuvin found and then also um, I found an operation a uh, collab that operation and perfection did so two games that I enjoyed as a childhood and they both came together so they did this like collab game which is pretty cool I found and it was for five bucks so hopefully all the pieces are there and yeah we'll see okay so we just got out of a Goodwill purchased a personal item this Van Gogh uh, bathroom, what do you call it? Curtain? Oh, uh, yeah, shower curtain. Shower curtain. It'll match our um, painting on the wall and Lego. and Lego, but yeah. All right, guys, we're headed to another Goodwill. I don't know what number this is, but we're about to go in and see. Hopefully, they got some good stuff here. 
at this Goodwill, we ended up finding a Justin Timberlake bobblehead, which is pretty cool, and these two hats right over here. So we just came out of that Goodwill and Coven scored again with all these baseball cards. Yeah. Um, yeah, just cards. football, baseball, all these sports cards. All right, guys, just check it in. We finished up a Goodwill. Um, Coven got some sports cards, which I'll show you guys at the end. Then we did a quick boba run. Uh, first time going to this place called Boba Tea. It's really expensive, but I think it's for these iridescent cups. But yeah, cheers. Look at how they have that butterfly right there. And if you guys are interested, I do have another channel called Food Venture. Um, just like it sounds, it's all about food and adventure. <laughs> Go check it out. Peace. What's up, guys? It's actually the next day. Um, I'm going to show you guys the haul of everything we got at um, the Goodwill stores the other day. So let me just turn over the camera real quick and I'll show you guys. So this is all of the items that we purchased from um, thrifting at Goodwill the other day. And there are a lot of personal items, mostly on this end, and then, and then things on this side that we plan to put up online to resell. So starting right over here, we got a Santa gnome, got a Santa right over there. Um, it's a 1990 vintage looking Santa. Um, if you guys were a fan of Barney, then you'd know who this plush is. It's BJ. Um, we got some hats right over here. Jaguar hat. Um, what do you call it? Uh, NBA champion Warriors hat right over here. And it's by Adidas too. Um, just It just needs a, a little bit of cleaning up. And then right over here, we got this A's figure and this other Josh Donaldson sports person. I'm not sure who that is. Um, Got a Curious George holiday ornament, another one of these Rydell mini helmets, and this is pretty cool. Um, found Justin Timberlake. <laughs> it's a bobblehead, I think. And then right over here are all sports cards that Kuvin found and adding to his collection. This was pretty cool. Found a Zumba set, and it's complete, and it was only four seventy nine. So. We checked it, all the discs are all in here. So um, I'm planning to keep it and planning to actually like put it to use, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> and then we got some old VHS tapes. Um, Kuvin wanted these three. Let me know if you guys watched any of these um, movies, but yeah, they were like a dollar each. Um, and then right over here are these bundled bags. They're both $4.99 each. Kuvin picked them up. It looked like some Gundam characters or something like that that he was interested in. We don't know if all the pieces are in here, but um, he decided to pick it up anyways. So that's everything we got. Lastly, I finally found the game Perfection. Um, ever since we started going to Goodwill, um, I've been trying to find this game. And I finally did. It, it was pretty cool because I found the original Perfection game. And then also I found this version. This version of the game, Operation Perfection, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's a game mashup. Um, Operation was also another um, game that I used to play as a kid. The only thing is that I don't know if all the pieces are intact. But I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that they are. Alright guys, so I just checked um, everything out and I counted everything and it looks like we have all the pieces, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to play play it for the first time right now and see if I um, still have it in me. <laughs> oh no, it sounds like it's about to pop. Oh my god. I lost, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I screamed. Okay, guys. So, like I said, this one does have all the pieces. And I can't believe that I still got scared. <laughs> and I honestly couldn't even beat the timer. Um, but sadly, this one um, is missing two pieces. The instructions weren't in here. But it's fine because you can always search that online. But um, just two of the um, white pieces were missing. But everything else is still here. And yeah, um, the only other thing about it is that the backing um, is missing as well, but it's it's okay because I put in this Ziploc. But yeah, childhood games. <laughs> Let me know if any of these two are your favorites or which game 
you grew up playing. All right, peace for now.